today. Disturbance. Vibration. I'm fine. No, I'm not. I'm fine. No, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. Bored yet? I could spend the, the whole time. We could just do that. And that would be our lives. I'm okay. I'm not okay. 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 So what means I'm okay? When is it I'm okay? The yeah. absence of disturbance. Absence of disturbance. And when am I not okay? When I'm out of ink. <laughs> when you're out of ink. <laughs> out of ink. I'm not okay. <laughs> Your pen. <laughs> Thank you. Vibration. Vibration. Did that out of ink cause you to be vibrating? Vibration. <clears throat> vibration. The storm was vibration. Every time there's anything going on, vibration. Wars. Vibration. Why do we even go to war? What is war? Is it trying to clear out that vibration? You gotta dig in and fight it. Not fight it, but we go to dig war. it out. Well, we want to be okay. We think it's going to make us okay. <laughs> it's going to. Well, we have no. We think there is no choice usually, and it's a. What's, who's fighting? Small self, self too? Small, small self. self. That's all that war is. Small self to small self. So my idea is such and such, and your idea is such and such, and we don't agree, and one of us is determined to win. That's all it is. Look, look back. Aaron is writing right now two books. He's written two books on wars and of every culture, shape, time, everything. And what is it? What's happened? All it is is, all, and, and it's all from the point of view of the victor. the victor who won. The others are the losers. losers. And that's it. That's it. That's it. We start that when we are this big, and we may do it with one or two people, then we do it in gangs, then we do it in greater and greater situations. And that's it. What do we have? What is that? That disturbance. So we have it internally. And then we manifest it. And is it working for you? Is it, does it solve anything? No. Not at all. Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna, did he have to fight? Yes. Yeah. Did he try not to? Yes. Yeah. Was he more vibrating when he wasn't going to fight? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> When he was avoiding, when he didn't want to fight, because his dharma, his path was in fact to fight. But how was he supposed to fight? Dispassionate. Dispassionate. Non-attached. Still. Don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes. So you don't start a fight based on small self.
can't win. Ends up, nobody wins that way. Okay, we have world disturbance now. Agree? We have a, this country, big disturbance. Big disturbance. And there's disturbance elsewhere. Disturbance. Now we take what we have internally. What do we do with that disturbance? Is it the disturbance of affection, love, fondness, liking, attraction, caring, tenderness, compassion? That kind of disturbance? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. No? Is it more like Aggravation, irritation, agitation, annoyance, grouchiness, grunching, grouch, grumpiness, frustration, anger, rage, outrage, fury, wrath, hostility, bitterness, hate, loathing, scorn, spite, vengefulness, dislike, resentful. Yeah, that's yeah. not good. <laughs> that work for you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, we also have agony, suffering, hurt, anguish, depression, despair, hopelessness, gloom, glumness, sadness, unhappiness, grief, sorrow, woe, misery, melancholy, dismay, disappointment, displeasure, guilt, shame, regret, remorse. We could even do alienation, isolation, neglect, loneliness, rejection, defeat, dejection, insecurity, embarrassment, humiliation, insult. And let's not forget anxiety, nervousness, tenseness, uneasiness, apprehension, worry, distress, and dread. Those are the ones we want to keep or get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of. So we're looking to have a different vibration. And then what do we do with that? Then we still. And then what happens? It's back to the whole thing of what are all these vibrations coming from? What do they come from? The heart. They come from the heart. So they come from initially love. And by the time they're manifested, they are? Not so much love. <laughs> twisted love. Dante, we're back to Dante. Yeah. Twisted love. So it starts out as love. And then it has to go through all our impure vehicles and everything and comes out and then that's how we read it. We manifest. And then we, is that our authentic feeling at that moment? Yes. Yes. So that then what we have to do is be with that experience, whatever it is, no matter what it is. Let whatever come up, come up, and function efficiently on the physical plane. So you let it, you don't, if you suppress it, what happens? It comes out. It's, 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 it's going to come out somehow. It's going to come out. I always say it comes out your navel. <laughs> it's going to come out. It's always going to come out. doesn't work to suppress it. What about... I just gotta get it out. What happens with that one? The splatter. Makes it worse. <laughs> Makes it worse. No. Neither splatter nor stuffing works. So what do we need to do? Still it. That's really right. Your only option. Yes. Still it. Still. I'm willing to still. How many people are willing to still? How do you still it? How do you still? You think you could first acknowledge it and give it a name or, you know, I'm feeling this. Right. You have to name the demon. You have to name the vibration. How many people for so long would not know what their vibration was? Yeah, it's this, I, I, I feel that, I, I don't know what to call it. That's why you have a nice little list of, oh, is it? And you're feeling cheerfulness. Okay, no. You know when I go, let's go around the mulberry bush? Okay, it's not, is it zest? <laughs> Contentment. <clears throat> Relief. No. 
And so we do know, in a way, we do know, we know what it's not, but we don't have names. So you're absolutely right. You have to name. You have to know. Oh, somebody said to me this morning they were angry and upset. They weren't upset. They were just angry. But they used upset to do what? Oh, Sugar-coated. Nice, nice, nice. No, they're just angry. Is there anything wrong with being angry? Not necessarily. Sometimes it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's appropriate, and it doesn't, even if it's, quote, not appropriate, is there anything wrong with anger? If you, that's what you got, is that what you got? That's what you got. Is there a problem with it? There's some yeses, but there really isn't. It's just what you got. What's the problem with anger? It'll destroy everything in your life. Right. How you relate with it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's not the anger that destroys. What destroys? It's your action, your behavior. Yep. Your action and behavior. What you do with that vibration. That's all it is. So, I'm angry. I can sit here, or I can go get my wooden sword and have a good time, or what? I could spill it. I could work to spill it. Is this clear? Are we starting to? Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Anybody else? Anything? So we name it. What is it? What's the difference? Aggravated? Irritated? Agitation? Annoyed? Grouchy? Grouchy is different than aggravated. First, isn't it? For the people who love it, yep. You guys, you know. Torment. Let's not forget torment. Torment different than annoyed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huge difference. How about frustrated? Yeah. Yeah. You start to so you start to understand. You become an expert in understanding what you have. How do you become an expert at anything? You have to become a master of it. Oh, sorry. You study. You have to study it. If you avoid it, can you become a master? No. <laughs> So you'll never know. So you become an expert, and then what do you do? So you've now owned it. Then you become an expert. You've mastered it. Then what? Then you let it go. Then you let it go. You transcend it. You let it go. Yeah. So, in your... Well, I was going to say, in, in your life, and you've been in, and I get, really probably all have, but on some level, but been in situations where you've had to let things come up that you weren't able to express them. Mm -hmm. And so, like, for me right now, with my own vibration and this, like a disturbance, mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time wanting to sit with that. Right. And then when I'm more in direct contact with whatever that disturbance is, I just get really angry. And I am not not expressing that anger, mm -hmm. which just fuels the disturbance even more. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm not strong enough to just, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not there. Right, you're not going to just even, let it go. I mean, even when I'm away from that. It's still going on. It's still going on, and I'm not even able to sit with my own hurt. I don't even want, you know, it's kind of like I'm, I'm starting to feel like I am not wanting to, I get in the places where I don't want to feel. So what happens is where you're at and if somebody else is there, that's how you can start a battle. That can start, that's how war can go. Right? Right. That's how a lot of, if you look at 
every time you have a fight with somebody, that's what usually, that's, it's from this spot right here that you can't let it go another, you know, you can't keep it in, you can't just sit with it, you can't be with it, you've got to get it out. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, either you remove yourself as much as you can from the situation so that you can work at, on it at the level that you can work on it. Or you blow sky high, which you really don't want to do. Right, and that doesn't necessarily work. It just—it's not going to work. Wait, no, 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 no. It's oh. not going to work. It's, it won't work. It's not going to work. But that's right. sometimes what what you know. Okay, so let's go to World War Two. Should we have fought it? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So there are times where things get. The vibration, the disturbance gets so bad that you cannot, it's now, it's out of the box. You cannot avoid it. So then you have to do it. So this way you blow up consciously. You're more aware of what you're doing. You should be aware of what you're doing. If, if, if she can't stop it at this point, she can say, I... I can't stop it right now. I'm going to blow up. Hmm. I want to let you know I'm blowing up at you. I'm angry. And I'm not in a place where I can just still this and it's okay what you've done. For me. And here we are. And then you see what the other person does. The best thing you can do would be to what? I want to say get out and leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yes. No, but... <laughs> More um, importantly, though, if you don't face it here, you're going to end up having it over here. Wherever, it's always going to show up. Oh, right. It, well, and then I, I feel like I have to... It would, I would be taking care of myself to, to sit with my hurt as much as I can. Yes. So then at least I can, it feels like a level of almost sanity, I want to put it like that. Exactly. So what we're talking about is we don't go to world war. We sit with it. We turn around. That's what you have to do by naming it. You have to turn around and look at yourself. And stop looking at the farmer. The farmer may, you might be justified. We may all be justified. It does not matter. That's not the point at this point. Can we discern our action when we're giantly disturbed? No, no we, cannot dis we cannot discern what we need to be doing. So our job is to turn around. Whoa, I have a tornado in here. I have a hurricane. I have, I'm like vibrating like crazy. How can I figure out what to do? I can't. That's why the whole thing, don't act. Do not act right now. Sit still. Do not act. Sit still. And then, be courageous and face your own vibration. And as each of us sits and faces our own vibration, we then, whether we're justified or not, we then stop manifesting out there. We stop contributing to the mess. And question, what if we're, someone forces our hand, you know, we're not quite ready, but, you know, we're put in that situation, what's the best we could do? I'm really not ready to talk to you about this. I'm sorry. I'm not in a place where I can appropriately speak. So you actually wouldn't want to hear what I have to say right now. Huh? 
How many people have put done that? And has it worked? Did it work? Um, I, I still think it's 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 the, the only good response, but it doesn't always elicit a positive response. Oh the gosh, person. no! <laughs> oh, absolutely not. It's not. Usually, the other person will be angry because what does the other person want to be doing? Fighting. They want the fight. They want the fight. What don't you want to be in a relationship with me? <laughs> let's play. Let's let's do it. You're rejecting me. No, I'm rejecting the way we're relating. I don't want to do this with you anymore. So you have to turn around. I don't want to go to war. I don't want to go to war. Do you want to go to war? I don't want to go to war. Turn around. How do we contribute peace? Not by keeping our own disturbing internal vibration. So if we still turn, be with that experience, that's the courage. That's the battle. That's the war worth fighting. You know, um, what's interesting too for me with this experience is that when I first came to you, I had a lot of hate, mm -hmm. and I still, it's still in there. I know, I, it still comes up, it's still there, so I get to see it like it's there again. Mm -hmm. It's an old friend. It's an old friend, and I, with it, you know, I haven't been as, you know, really courageous in sitting with the hurt, and mm -hmm. then... But the hate, the hate hey. feels a little bit more comfortable to sit with. Because it's more familiar, <laughs> it's an old friend. But then, see, then that comes up and enters and, you know, you have that mix then too, which is, I would maybe venture to say, safe to say is the layer on top of mm -hmm. the hurt. hurt. Yep. But, but then it makes it worse when you go to go back down because you still have to go through that before you get to the... That's right. So you have to name each layer. So that list of all the different affection, longing, cheerfulness, irritation, exasperation, rage, disgust, envy, torment, suffering, sadness, disappointment, shame, neglect, horror. They're all different layers. And that's why I used to talk, I haven't said it a lot uh, lately, but sedimentary rock, because that's all this is. We're just doing sedimentary rock. Oh, here we are. We're in shale again. We're in disgust again. Oh, wow. Get to see how I built the canyon. <laughs> <laughs> so what it comes to is again back to the Matrika Shakti, the power inherent in those letters. And we as children, we picked our family, the caregivers, to then come to us to, to help teach us what it was that our life lessons are. That's what they did. So our job was not to become like them if they were not completely wise and clear and clean and sattvic and everything. Our job was to learn how to be true to ourselves even around that. So, if we wanted to maintain and be part of a family, and we see our family is annoyed and aggravated and frustrated, and, and that's, called, that's how everybody vibrates, and we want to be like them, what are we going to acquire? Those vibrations. We're going to look to, we're going to learn them. We're going to, that's family. That's what we learn then. Our job is to learn how to be true to ourselves, which would be experientially being able to experience love even in that environment and staying one pointed and true in that environment.
but this is a game. We learned how we learned, learned words, we learned language, we became individuals, and we jumped into that part of the play. And now is our job is to learn how to disentangle out of that part. To remove that individuality. To still those letters. To still the vibration. Keep going. To still the disturbance. to not be such great family members. Keep stilling. Turn around. Look in. Still. Still. And it's not about hearing one voice and not the other. If you have one voice out there, you have the other. <coughs> Everything goes. Still. And going back into the heart. It is, there is always that third choice. So now do you want to fight? What happens now if you need to face something? You can face it. You can discern. You can discern right. what right. action to take. Right, so you said, do you want to fight? No, but if I have to fight, mm -hmm. I can fight better. Yeah, and you can fight appropriately. Right. So you can discern what action to take. If you're worried and going, you're not going to be able to, you're going to 
all over the place, look for the this, that, this, that. What do I need to do? For instance, you can't do anything till Monday, can you? No. So, it just... have to just take care of you. And the more you go in, the more you still internally, the answers will arise. How many people find that they come from outside also when we're this way? It's not only from internally, but the answers, yeah, all of a sudden. But if I'm an individual in my own right, nothing works. Nothing's going to go. Nothing's going to be figured out. Okay, you can't do anything till Monday. Nothing more to do. Nothing more to do. And it's already resolving. Nothing more to do. How many people right now feel disturbed in here? Do you want to get rid of it? Yeah. Anybody? Internally, no. Um, well, I'm more, I'm already, I mean, I'm already more. You're more relaxed. willing. What's yeah. that? You're more willing. Yes. But it's been home for you. Yes. So, do you like that home? No. Would you like to leave that home? That was a yes. Yes. Okay. So, what you want to do is return inside. Go in, turn. So, no, look at me. Okay. But go in. Look inside your own heart. In there. There you go. Uh, uh, can you look at me? So much hurt. Long time. Turning around and feeling it, and not indulging it, but just feeling it. No big deal. Letting yourself feel it. It will start to dissolve. I want to go out. This. Uh, it's a very uh, scary place. I feel that you see it, but I visualize it as. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Don't visualize it, because that's the small self wanting to create this nightmare. Don't visualize it. 
just let yourself feel it. Because once you start visualizing it, are you, you're out of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. The, the mind wants to make pictures and do, and, and then you'll get out of it. If you can stay here and be here and let whatever come up, but stay here. There you go. There you go. Because love for you is a scary place. so familiar with. You don't have to live like that. Yeah. Um, I think I just kind of got something maybe a little better and Actually, his talking and helping him helped me because it's like I I need to just stay there with the pain that I'm suffering physically and that they don't know what it is and that I'm suffering physically. And um, that's a scary place for me because my I think on my physical body, if, I, if my body is sick, then I'm, so I want to go up and create a big thing of uh, uh, just what he was saying. I want to go up and create, well, it's lines and you're not going to be able to, and it's this and it's that and it's this and it's that, and um, that's not what I need to do. That's exactly right. I need to just stay with, um, you know, this place hurts, and I don't really like it, but it's what I have, and I don't have to. Uh, make a whole lot of, I need to do things about it when I need to do things about it, but. That's exactly right. When I, when I was diagnosed with cancer, mm -hmm. and I had to ask the doctor would I be here next year, mm -hmm. and he didn't answer, and I had to, instead, and people who knew what happened, I ended up going in deeper and further, rather than going out and do, avoid it. Now, Getting 20 million other opinions on, yeah. you know, frantically. Right, because that was not going to, that wasn't going to take the pain away, that wasn't going to take the physical ailment away. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't do that, of course, when I'm hearing your, you help, or but it's been very hard to do that. I've been trying to do that and sort of say to myself, you know, it's not in your hands anyway. You know, right. So then give me a call. But then there's a part, I guess, that doesn't <laughs> want to believe that. Right, right. There's your doubt, your your friend doubts. Yeah. But give me a call. Okay. Just call me and we'll sit on the phone for a couple of minutes. Okay? Okay. Absolutely. That's exactly It's it. the same thing. It's the same thing. It's yeah. Yeah. I remember on a, on a 
different, light, less, but in a conflict with somebody, I shut up and I turned in and they said, you're not going to say anything? And I said, no, I'm not going to say anything. I need to deal with my own vibration. And they said, well, what's that going to do for us? And I, wanted, I, I didn't answer, but everything. <laughs> That's going to do everything for us. So as we go forward, and we, there's always going to be, this is the place of action on the physical plane. There's going to be disturbance. And we want to go home. So our, our job and our play is to keep stilling, keep returning learning how to be true to ourselves, even in the midst of it all. No winners, no losers. 